what's up guys welcome back to another video we got a little video on the dlx today we're doing uh a, a, a smoke chuck roast and we're also doing a, a pork butt we did the uh roast in um it's got like three different kinder seasonings on it sorry it sounds messing with me uh it's got the the red jalapeno pepper flake the buttery garlic herb one and also the steakhouse seasoning on there and then on the butt we did the uh uh it's their butcher's all-purpose blend it's kind of it's not quite a barbecue seasoning but it's pretty close to that it's gonna be good and then um we made some homemade coleslaw and we're gonna make some homemade bread and stuff like that if y'all want any recipes for homemade bread or coleslaw anything like that any size we do i can give you a recipe or make videos on it y'all just let me know uh but if you'll uh i'm gonna have to swap this camera around and then uh we'll give you a sneak peek on everything all right we just got this fire lit up here we did uh some royal royal oak charcoal bunch of little small stuff a couple decent sized logs on the sides i don't always use the charcoal i just decided to to add a good good starting bed of coal today sometimes i do it sometimes i don't uh, a lot of times i just use bark and small splits bark's a great fire starter and it turns into coals pretty quick but uh it's all pretty small stuff everything's an inch to probably two inch in there and some other little smaller pieces but here lately i've been liking running these uh they're pretty small they're about a inch and a half diameter or so splits i i found that i can really control my temperature a whole lot better when i run splits that size i mean i can really fine tune and keep my temperature there now it's a little more work on splitting and all that kind of stuff but i think it it really helps out with my temperature control uh anyways we'll uh, we'll bring y'all back when we're putting the meat on just got this meat thrown on here that's a chuck roast with a couple different kinds of kinders seasonings on there uh, it's got like the steak seasoning, the buttery herb one, and a little bit of that red pepper jalapeno uh, flake garlic uh, seasoning on there. And then this is the Kinder's uh, Butcher's All Purpose seasoning that we put on that pork butt there. We put both of those on there last night about. 5 30 so that that season has been sitting on there for 12 hours so we'll see how it turns out it's looking pretty good stuff's been on for eh, it's probably been on about two or three hours something like that but it's looking pretty good pretty good that bark on that's going to be crazy good it's got all kinds of seasonings it's trying to set up right now but uh it's looking good shut it back and let it get to, back to cooking fire's been running pretty good we've been keeping anywhere from about i don't know 220 to 275 been trying to it got up a little hot earlier on that 275 side and we've been been letting the fire bed cool down a little bit i hadn't been putting as much wood in there trying to keep it more around that 220 250 that's about what we want but it's been cooking good uh we'll bring y'all back later i've got some guests coming over so i don't know how much of the actual like taste testing and stuff like that we're going to get on camera but i'll kind of maybe uh i'll let y'all see the bark set and all that kind of stuff and then maybe later on after dinner uh i'll do a video recap kind of letting you know how the meat turned out and stuff but y'all keep with us we're gonna keep on cooking all right it's time to take this chuck roast off. It's got a pretty good bark set up on it. We're gonna wrap it up in some butcher paper. It's looking good, looking good. All right, 
So, we are going to. Is it hot? Uh, it's warm. It's not like super hot. Huh? Get this thing wrapped up in here. Back on, let it keep on cooking. We added beans. Yeah, we got some beans over here. That's some black beans and some onions and stuff. Barbecue sauce, a little sweet pepper in there, a little brown sugar. It'd be good. This butt's starting to look really good. It's starting to get a good bark on it. We will bring y'all back. We'll probably end up doing like the butcher paper with the full boat on that here in a little while so I'll bring y'all back when we do that mm, it's looking pretty good I think we're getting close to yeah that barks really starting to set up on there pretty close to time Stir up these beans they're looking pretty good probably wrap this thing here in just a little bit but man it's all looking good bring y'all back later so the barbecue turned out pretty good uh i really like the chuck roast that thing the that mix of seasons on there was really really good um it had a great bark on it that butcher paper did its job and allowed it to really keep its bark um the pork butt turned out really well also the only thing i i wrapped it in butcher paper and did the tin foil boat on it i don't think that hurt the bark but when i i didn't let it rest for a little while I, well i let it rest but i went ahead and immediately when i took it off uh to put it in and rest in the cooler i wrapped it up in aluminum foil i think that hurt the bark a little bit on there i might change up the way i do that next time i don't know might just do the butcher paper only um it seemed the bark on the uh, on the chuck roast was great but the bark was good on the uh, on the butt it just wasn't as good as the bark on the chuck roast so i think the difference there was the aluminum foil that i because i completely wrapped the butt in aluminum foil without letting it rest before I put it in the aluminum foil. So I think it steamed that bark up a little bit, but everything turned out great. Um, the barbecue was good. All the fixings were good, all that kind of stuff. So um, thank y'all for watching and uh, we'll be putting out another one here soon.